everyone welcome to my channel free learner today we will learn gradient pcr one of the topic of molecular biology in between 5 minutes now we will discuss the gradient pcr gradient pcr is a technique that allow the empirical determination of one optimal primer annealing temperature using the least number of steps in which gives the specific amplification and also good yield. So the use of temperature is very in the primer annealing step. Now we will discuss how it is exactly happens. We will prepare the master mix according to the normal PCR. Here also we will prepare the master mix by adding the DNA for one and a reverse primer DNTP tag polymerase and buffer everything is happen as well as the normal PCR but the difference in the PCR program now we come to the thermal cycler how we set up the program this is this is the temperature range using the annealing step here I am showing the temperature range up to 57 to 61 degree centigrade in the thermal cycler program now we go to the gradient step to set up the gradient PCR in the gradient in gradient step in the method of thermal cycler we will run the particular temperature instead of the annealing temperature using the different annealing temperature so just to check which annealing temperature the primary annealing is optimal and give the proper amplification and specific here we will choose the left side temperature of the gradient and also right side temperature of the gradient in which then we have to check our uh, primary efficiency after setup of gradient PCR, it shows the gradient step, the left side temperature and also right side temperature. If I am changing the left side temperature is 50 and right side temperature is 60, then it will show in this way and the temperature difference in between the 1 to 1 is the 1 degree centigrade. If we need to check it 2 degree or 3 degree temperature different, then we will add in this way and it will show in the temperature block wise in the PCR cycler. If you need to change or need to um, delete one step, we also can do in this step. This is the PCR block. After that, after finishing the PCR, we will check the product in the agar or gel. So, we will get the amplification on the basis of temperature. And in this particular example, if you can see that, then in the uh, 50... 9 degree temperature is very the amplification is very specific and also low primer dimer formation so the particular temperature is optimal temperature for the conducting this kind of PCR reaction so overall in every PCR reaction or every PCR there is a standardized protocol so it is advised to know the um, amplification of specific or not then we can check the in the gradient PCR Hope this video will helpful for you and if this you enjoy this video give the thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you